Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today we're taking a look at less conventional control setups for a craft. In the background you can see a fight that happened as part of this channel's uh, 2000 sub celebration and it features the Flying Trash Bin by George Goya, uh, who's also sent me the Meme Wheel, which I featured a few times on this channel, but uh, both those craft, they don't have any wings, they don't have any control surfaces, they are just controlled by uh, reaction wheels and by the engine gimbal. Um, so this got me thinking, would this actually be a better way to control a craft? I mean, engine gimbal and reaction wheels have much better reaction times than control surfaces do. Could you scale this up to a competitive fighter that does not use any control surfaces? So um, today we're going to give that a go. To start with then, I wanted to see if I could create a fighter that is controlled through engine gimbal alone. Uh, this was the first attempt. Uh, I forgot to set up a hotkey that turns the uh, the afterburners on and off, so this wasn't very easy to control. It span out, it lost intake air, engine shut off, so yeah, this one desperately needed some improvements. A few adjustments later, including a way to turn the afterburners on and off, and this did much better, this is our second attempt. Um, although in throwing it around a bit, I did manage to get the uh, the engines cutting in and out, and uh, yeah, we got ourselves into a, a pretty spectacular flat spin before we crashed into the ground. For the third attempt, I basically just added a shed load more air intakes, and that seemed to solve the problem of those, uh, those outside engine nacelles which control the roll cutting out. They did so occasionally, but it, they were only out for a short period, and they sort of both cut out and back in together, which prevented the, um, prevented the whole flat spin thing. For the fourth and final prototype, I made a number of adjustments to try and improve the maneuverability of this craft. Uh, a few more air intakes. I could still force the engine cutting in and out thing to happen, but I wasn't worried about it happening during general combat. Uh, it was a little bit sluggish in the roll, but uh, by this point I was happy enough that I knew what final adjustments needed to be made before I threw this into combat. So um, let's see what we've ended up with and uh, how it gets on. So I suppose we should go and introduce ourselves as we haven't done that yet. This is the Mania. Mania originally being the name of an, uh, an ancient Greek spirit of madness, which I thought suited this down to the ground. Um, yes, on the back we have our, not our control surfaces, our control engines. On the outside we have the two that control uh, roll. Uh, these two control pitch and the middle one here controls your... I have uh, made some adjustments uh, since the last prototype you saw. These two engines, the engines that control pitch, also control roll in an attempt to uh, to try and just get it rolling a little faster. I've also cut down on the size of these uh, these engine nacelles out here to help that. I've moved some of the air intakes that were on here into the middle, just as I said, trying to trying to get it moving a little bit faster in the roll axis. Um, but for this first test. I thought I'd kind of slow ball it, so we are going to put these up against the Cyclone, um, an early fighter of mine, and yes, it should be a reasonably early test for it. Let's um, let's get this one going. And the competition starts. This thing, for some reason, keeps momentarily firing its afterburners and. Oh my god, it doesn't really have enough maneuverability to get round and fire its missiles. It's getting awfully low, in fact. That is... Yes, one of them's crashed into the sea already. That is not looking promising. Hopefully, though, GT Kerman will come around and fire some of his own missiles. <laughs> oh god, not the most successful first test of a craft I've ever had. Does manage to dodge the, um, the, two, uh, the two sidewinders there, though. Oh god, here we go. So I think in testing how manoeuvrable it was when flying it manually, I forgot to test <laughs> whether or not it could actually fly with the AI. <laughs> okay, I think I know what needs to be done. Let's uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Make some adjustments, and I'll see you again in a second. Okay, maybe it was a little optimistic of me to expect this thing to be able to compete just through engine gimbal alone. Uh, the craft I mentioned at the start of the video that was sent to me, those used a combination of engine gimbal and reaction wheels, so uh, we're going to follow down the same road. I've taken this craft and alongside some little balancing tweaks, I've chucked in a load of reaction wheels. Hopefully this is more like it. We'll have to see though. Let's, um, let's get this started. Well, they certainly seem to have been flying better up to this point. Uh, Sneak Kerman tries to pull hard around, maybe a little too hard. A little bit of wobbles, yeah. <laughs> maybe I should have spent more time actually perfecting this craft. 
before I started making a video. Uh, but I do like doing these ones occasionally where you sort of develop it as you go. Um, yes, so one lot of missiles dodged, another lot of missiles soon to be dodged, looking hopeful. Yes! Steak Kerman, can he now come around and get away some missiles of his own? Oh my word, those look like they're coming in quite close. A last minute dodge by Steak Kerman and we are all good. Now, now possibly able to get away a couple of his own. Two Sidewinders away, a hail of flares there. Oh, that was close range. That is, yeah, that's sort of what you're looking for, for the perfect Sidewinder kill, but uh, you couldn't manage it this time. Comes around, going for missiles again, if you can actually line up the shot. Nope, time for the guns. Can't quite get it on target, can't quite get it on target. More missiles going in there. Yeah, nothing doing. Steak Kerman's a fair distance away now, does have the luxury of being able to sit back and pop off a couple of sidewinders. Oh, and able to line up a shot if he can actually get it. Oh, the sound bug kicks in. I really wish someone would work out why that happens. I really do. So far, it doesn't look like anybody's taken any damage whatsoever. <laughs> oh, God, I really thought I was making things easy for these, uh, for these manias. I really did, but... <laughs> Yeah, sadly not. Oh, gunfire goes in. One of the manias spins out. Ben Kerman manages to uh, to get a lot of damage onto it. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like we've got the old problem with uh, with engines, um, with engine flame out. And Steak Kerman is in a terminal spin. Adam Kerman. Adam Kerman now has, uh, has some work on to try and uh, to try and save this one. Has one of the cyclones in his sights. No, no, the cyclone pops off a load of flares and the uh, the missile goes wide. Oh, looks like the cyclone might be lining up a shot now. Comes about right on his tail. The sidewinder goes wide. Adam Kerman tries flipping around. That was a bad move. And he is shredded. And uh, yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're just engines on one side. That's also going to be very difficult to control. And Steak Kerman is already in the ocean. In the ocean, but not giving up. Bless his little cottons. Um, yeah, I think we'll uh, I think we'll count that one as a victory for the Cyclones. Oh dear. Okay, so um, yeah, once again, back to the drawing board. Okay, so one last time. More tweaking, more reaction wheels. Have I cracked it? Let's see. And our final fight starts. This is looking, uh, about to say, this is looking a little better. Still couldn't bring himself round. Ghosty Kerman now gets around. Will he get missiles away? Gets away a single Sidewinder. That will give the Cyclones food for thought. Uh, it doesn't look like his wingman has done the same, but it's, it's an improvement at least. Now has the opportunity to turn around and, oh my god! That looks like that will be a missile kill. One of the Cyclones has been... No, well, not that heavily damaged. <laughs> not a missile kill, a missile maiming, and it might be evened up here pretty quickly because Legolak Kerman is launching another volley of the Sidewinders. Oh my god, one of the Manias has now taken a hit. It's... Ah, uh, that's... One of the Cyclones taking a hit. One of the Cyclones is out. It's Missile Kill Central. I didn't think it would come to this. The Manias, I thought one of them had actually taken a, a decent missile hit, but it doesn't look like it. They both look to be in... in pretty good health so it is just the uh the one cyclone the damage cyclone my god could the could the manias actually win this leg of that kerman having a bit of trouble controlling his craft oh my god and there it is ion kerman splashing down will survive unlike his wingman leg of black but the manias yeah oh Josh Kerman in there, just trying to finish things off. It's, I mean, it's a victory, so I'll take it. And uh, the fact it was sort of like a dogfighting missile kill does uh, does mean they're not completely useless. <laughs> oh, lovely little, it's almost like um, a little mid-air skid there that Josh Kerman did. That was beautiful. I did like that. So, some promise in them yet. Uh, I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping basically these craft would mince the cyclones and then I just sort of tweak it as we gave them harder and harder opponents but <laughs> now in the end they just about managed to overcome the cyclones um I want to keep working on this craft I might might not be the last you've seen of uh, of this concept I mean it might well be but you know just 
leaving the possibility open. Um, so yes, the question was, um, who needs control surfaces? And uh, it turns out the answer is probably all of us. <laughs> Although we'll... Um, no, I will try and refine this craft and see if I can actually turn it into a fearsome fighting machine. But uh, in the meantime, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider uh, liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, uh, getting involved with the Discord, uh, Great KSP and BD Ar Armoury community on there, and more just besides. Um, Links to all of those in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your own little patron kerbal to be, um, well, to be slaughtered time and time again in these videos and um, more benefits besides. Uh, I will be back with some more BD Armoury soon, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.